Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX. Welcome back to Let's Play Jake Coon 2. In the last episode, we took on... Uh, well, we took on the Fire Force, the, the first of the extra Fire Force, the fifth Fire Force, whatever you want to call it. Took it out in style, despite the ridiculous amount of instant death. Holy heck, screw that noise. But um, in this episode, we're going to go someplace a lot less dangerous, the Wind Forest. Because status effects are cool and all, but it's not instant death. And I have Scooter so I can handle it. So let's go ahead, we're gonna get started with the Wind Forest, the nice, good, long, you know, seven episodes worth, or seven floors worth of this, as always. Well, I'm gonna do it in one go, as always. Well, actually, I might, I might split it halfway. Splitting it halfway, but then just piecing it together as I please might be a thing that happens from now on, just because it's a lot less pressure on my computer, and that's a good thing. So I'm gonna be picking up every single weed I can find here. And that sounds kind of wrong, but I want to get a ton of hide spores for the future. Because uh, if the uh, sixth fire forest is anything similar to the uh, the previous fire forest, well, I just don't want to deal with any of that noise. So I won't be dealing with any of that noise, and that's if that's the case, because that was kind of silly, and I just don't want to deal with it. Anyways, let's go ahead and fight our first wind column. It's just this guy, not even a status effect or anything. That's the reason why I don't use this spell on the wind on the wind side, is because the more status conditions you can have the more you're really getting your mileage out of the wind side, because you can get magic spells on anything. The fire side obviously has great ones. The water side actually is, pretty, is a pretty decent place to put a magic spell. The earth formation, not so much. There's really no reason to. I mean, even the water formation is kind of a waste, just that the other healing options just aren't really worth it. I like to have some form of offense on each side so that, you know, if the fire side dies, then I have other offensive options and all. Um, we're just going to stick with this. Just gonna deal with this, and uh, well, well, we'll see if they can even crack the barrier. That's, that's the thing. We're gonna see the, with a barrier up now. We'll see just how effective the wind formation can be because they aren't, don't tend to have the strongest attacks. As you can see, it's taking three to break it. It's gonna take three to break it. So, really, at, I mean, the barriers are pretty strong. And that'll block a lot of the oncoming stats. It won't, it won't uh, impact. It, the barrier does not protect you against status effects that do not cause damage, which is why it did not protect against Admiral Might, um, the instant death spell. So it won't protect against, you know, the Petrify spell or the Sleep one. Uh, those two in particular stand out as really stuff that could be obnoxious. I guess if you wanted to get something that would protect against that, Labardia would be good, but that, uh, I just, that, it's, it's such a situational issue that I don't find it to be a good thing to use in, like, in general, Labardia as opposed to Baryon. I mean, like I said, you get protection against, you know, those status effects for sure. Because if it blo if it blocks Summit Kill, it'll probably block Admoral Might. And that's kind of cool. Actually, may might be even worth a, pr a look into doing. Not I mean, it, it could be worth it, actually. It's I haven't, I haven't really thought about the whole Labardia versus Baryon before. Baryon will protect you against damage barrier because it, it can take multiple hits from something. Labardia cannot do that, plus it lasts multiple turns if they don't break it. They'll have to break it at some point. Labardia, I think, fades after a couple turns, if I remember correctly. I don't really know the details on that too much, to be honest, because it's something I've never really considered before. But, uh, it's an interesting alternative, I have to admit, because it would block Admoral Might. Because after, you know, the last episode, I've definitely been sitting here thinking, man, what sort of ways and methods are there out there to blocking Admoral Might? Because it's annoying. It's a very obnoxious spell. So if there are ways to stop it, that would be good. Um, so that's actually a method I hadn't considered up until now. Really, the best thing that counters it is Aria, the water spell. But it's so situational because I find—I mean, you actually have to die for that spell to be worthwhile. Master Kahu, you did wonderfully in this matter. Yay, Gil likes us. Oh, gosh. It is too bad that your tail is gone. Oh my, you are obsessed, I sir! You sir, you are... Wings. Yeah, you missed you miss my wings. Hey, being chosen is quite an honor. Incredible. Yeah, you get wings and tails and stuff. It's kind of cool. I want a tail. I want to be different. I, I, would, I wouldn't mind it, as long as it wouldn't kill us, though. That's kind of a problem. I would have had a chance to study them. You were too busy Why being evil, sir. All over again. Why not do it again? No, how about no? Then become the chosen one and slip through the Kaya Gate. How about it? No. Again? Give me a break. No. Oh, I see. That is too bad. How about we don't go, you know, threaten darkness upon the world by doing that again? 
Seems seems like a terrible decision. Hi, you. Hell, man. You beat Levant? Yeah, I kicked his butt. Yep, I beat him. <laughs> this guy who's just like, yo. Yep. Flute playing man. Your move friend. Well, he kind of no turned into a friends. dick. Sorry. Well, your friend was a dick. Oh, Find better sorry. friends. Damn, man. You're not bad. Levant can't be helped. There we go. At least Yamu understands. Okay. Lots of friends. Yeah, you have Tail man, Gil. Yeah, sure, we'll go that. <laughs> Nico's just like, nope, nope, nope. What happened to that chest, that boy? Oh, Yamu? I think I will have him stay a bit longer with me. He makes a good pillow. Actually, I so guess if he's made of chest, then he wouldn't really yet? be a... I don't know, is that fur spikes? Endless, you see. And I thought it would be better than trying to do it by myself. Yeah, having company is always a good thing. Having a partner in crime is always... A good use of your time. Some wise words from Lucky 7 DX today, apparently. This recording session's off to a good start, I think. Much better than the last one. The last one, not gonna lie, it was kind of a train wreck. Um, anyway, oh, hey, you're new and exciting and different, so, oh, well, you turn this way, so I guess we're gonna fight you anyway. Um, but yeah, like I said, Arya. Arya's a good counter, more Ed Marmite, just because you can get healed back, although, and it also comes with instant death, so he can't kill you that way. But it's such a situational thing. And the thing about Arya, as opposed to... Okay, either you have no offensive capabilities on your water side at all, which is honestly not a bad thing. It's it's not a bad idea to have no offensive capabilities there, because it doesn't the water side doesn't need offensive capabilities. It's nice to have, but not required. Honestly, the whole Shadow Mario thing, that's the one part of this formation I'm not really entirely sure on. But for now, it's the best. And I can always change his skill if I really need to, anyway. Um, I can always, you know, give him Arya or... The MP recovery move. The MP recovery move ain't as much. Aria might be tempting at some point. We'll have to see about that one. But uh, my point is, Aria is really only good if you have a Divine Beast that's dead. Otherwise, it heals one Divine Beast up to full. Healing one up to full is nice if you have a Divine Beast at low health, but generally, with the way this game's mechanics work, you want to be able to heal everyone, because every want to have all your formations kind of take a hit before you go into the water formation. Because you don't you want to have minimal exposure to your water formation. So, I think it ends up being better for, you know, you have AoE sort of heals as opposed to Aria, which is a single target only heal. Granted, it cures, you know, death. So, that's nice, but is it worth a slot for something that's very situational? I mean, if you start dying, obviously you're going to have problems, but then again, you know, recovering yourself of Aria also takes a lot of time, too. A good opponent's going to capitalize that and just keep fighting back. And in the process, hurt your water formation, which is very, you know, you, you really generally can't let your water formation get hit. So, I question how good Arya is. It's situational, it has its uses, especially for like arena combat. It'll certainly be really nice, and it's good against Admiral Warmite. The question is, is it worthwhile overall? I'm not convinced it is. We'll see. Anyways, that takes care of that guy. Uh... I say that a lot for this project, but let's go ahead and we're just gonna head to the next uh, the next area already. That was that was fairly quick, all things considered. Actually, how long was that? Yeah, not bad, not too, not too bad by by these standards at all. Let's go ahead and continue. Win for ours too. Uh, these enemies seem a lot nicer to avoid as well compared to the fire forest. Either I just had shitty luck, or as this guy's oh no no he's coming this way. Okay, yeah. Well, maybe we can avoid everyone. We'll see. We'll see how much more we can avoid. I do have a hide spore if I need to. If I can find more hide spores like that, um, I can certainly... I, I think I'll probably be abusing them a bit more in the final forest, just because they're useless otherwise. And it'll speed the process of those forests up. I'm not going to need... Once Tamal merges, I don't really need more merging, I don't think. Although I'm assuming my Divine Beast will be strong enough for the Arena Torments. If I use strategy correctly and do things correctly, though, I mean, strategy has a lot of strength in its own against tough opponents, so we'll see how well it works, my plans work out, but uh, for now, I think I think we'll be okay. I feel like we should be okay for the tournament. I mean, I don't know, we'll, we'll see how hard the tournaments end up being. I've never actually completely done the tournaments before, so this will be new to me. Um, this is a project where I feel like I can kind of do, like, I know the, the game mechanics sound, so from now, it, it's... We'll see if I practice the arena at all. I might, I might not. I want to just get past that guy and end up going the thing. Um, but I don't know. It's interesting. We'll see. We'll see how the arena goes. 
We'll see if it gets too tough. If it does get too tough and it requires a copious amount of grinding, it might not be a thing it shows up. I don't think it will, though. Can we just get... No? Okay, we'll just deal with you then. I mean, if that's how you want to be, guy, that's how you want to be. Whatever. And I guess you can call that killing two birds with one stone. Those guys always remind me of uh, Gligar. Or, yeah, I guess Gligar. Or Gliscor. Probably more Gliscor. I was like, I can't remember the evolved form of Gligar. I'm making Pokemon references in a game about, hey, you're a comma. I win. Only in your dreams. Sorry. You only win at losing, sir. I'm sorry, but you're a comma. I'm a beast hunter. Just, it's just, you, you just kind of lose to me. It's just kind of like, hey, it's like yellow foo. That's a thing. Um, yeah, basically it's the, it's one of those stat reduction ones. I think it's reduced speed is what this skill is. In other words, it's pretty much useless. I don't think manipulating speed is a worthwhile thing. Uh, Mitria is kind of cool in that you can increase all the stats. Mitria is something I would put on this team, like with for Scooter or something, if, uh, if, if it wasn't for the fact that it gives you such a negative side effect. Because it does. I, I remember it giving you a pretty bad side effect. But yeah, Sappy 8 is the skill of choice. Is it attack or speed? If it's reduced attack, I mean, that could be better. I, I prefer the reduced defense just because then you have two powerful hits following it, which is kind of nice. Um, as opposed to reduce attack, which is better for your earth formation, I think, anyway. But, um, I, but yeah, I, I think, what is it? I think it's speed. Is it speed? Uh, did it do anything? Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe this does something else. Let's just give this to Fu. Fu usually misses out. Does Sepia do something else? Maybe I'm wrong. I could have sworn that the coup in this formation, though, does reduce speed. Meh, whatever. You, m I missed. I missed again. Am I sure it's not? Yeah, it is reduced speed. Okay, I, just, I must have just missed that first one. Like, I must have just missed the text about that one. Oh well, let's just... I don't actually... This is a, I should have just stayed in the fire formation and not wasted Scooter's MP. Because we know he has MP problems. Oh well, that's... that's okay. That's that's okay. It's not the end of the world that I he had to use an extra barrier. Oh well, you're you know what? And also because I should use something that doesn't miss. Because the the thing is reduce the nice thing about reduced speed, I suppose, is it also reduces accuracy because speed and accuracy are so related in this one. So that's a thing. Um, that being said, accuracy is not the most important stat anyway because magic has 100% accuracy all the time. So, in that manner, it doesn't really matter. Plus, you know, even if you reduce the speed of a wind formation, it's generally going to still be accurate enough to hit most formations. And even then, you know, like, your earth formation is probably going to still take hits, too, because they have, like, no evasion. Because, you know, it's sp the speed difference is your accuracy slash invasion. Ev yeah, accuracy slash evasion sort of stat, which is interesting to tie those two together, I guess. It's an interesting system, for sure. Um, can you just not be here? Like, you're not really threatening or anything, but, like, you know, if I just, if I could just not fight you, that'd be cool, that'd be cool. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, younger madame. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Um, yeah, oh, they actually get a healing book in here. That's interesting. Um, because it says, usually status heals is a water type thing, but I guess when you're in the force of status conditions, it's not the most surprising thing to have. I can totally sneak by, can I sneak by you, though? Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, 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 well, I had a brief shiny moment where I probably could have gotten through there. Well, I'm probably going to have to bite the bullet in with this one. Well, okay, well, we're going to try one more time. To get, we're going to try one time to get past him. It's got to be, like, perfect timing, though. got to go, like, boom! Just like that. Beautiful. Not happy to do a fight. Oh, well, I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to get through here anyway. Oh, and there was no Beast Hunter battle or no cutscene this early in. Okay. Okay. Well, hey, I actually did dodge that one too. Can I get through both though? Could this just be the forest of me not having to fight anything? That'd be cool. Like I said, I'm probably going to abuse heights. Well, the thing is about abusing heights, is you know, the extra experience 
is nice too, though. So, you know, as much as you can use high swords to skip fights, I'm gonna save them for like really shitty fights, like the instant death one. Those ones I'll probably save. I don't know. I'm gonna have to see my policy on high swords when it really just gets to it. That's ultimately what's gonna have to happen. Um, and it'll also highly depend on just how. Oh, you're. Yeah, you're, you're, well, I mean, we already know what you do, because we fought your combo, but I shouldn't be surprised that they're here, but... Aha! I can hide in the corner, like a pansy! So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to get as many hide spores as I can throughout this. Everything else I pick up is probably, I should probably not be picking up the books, but I just kind of want to show off what's actually available currently. I should also fight Lady here, because she is technically new. Good old yellow foo. I, I, I'm trying to th find a, a better joke to go with that, but I'm not really coming up with anything. Yellow just makes me think of pee, really, and that's just... No one really... Well, I'm not going to make a joke about pee. Pee jokes are for streams. When I'm being stupid. Not for LPs where I have to act like a professional adult. <laughs> like I'm capable of that. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and just kill some fairies, because... Because that's what we do... Go into the wall formation because, well, <laughs> they're never gonna break this barrier. Like, I'm sorry, but you're just not going to break this barrier. Let's just let's just be honest here, fairies. You have like zero attack stat, and I have increased defense. Actually, I still don't know if increased defense matters for breaking the barrier or not. It's not something I actually know, surprisingly. But that didn't kill her, which means we should have. Uh, free. Well, everyone's gonna get experience. Basically, the reason I don't do the water formation before the wind formation is because the uh, I don't I, I don't do the wind formation before the water formation is because we'll do enough damage in the wind formation to basically cause. Uh, I was hoping that would that would hit. That'd be funny. You just keep trying to break that barrier, sweetie. It's just not gonna help. But uh, it's because the water formation with the increased damage from the lower defense will probably kill a Divine Beast. Like, Shadow Mario is that strong that he can actually do significant damage to a Divine Beast, which is really nice, by the way. It's really nice that I do have the power and the ability to basically essentially one, like, one-shot a decent, you know, enemy with a Water Formation move. Well, not one-shot, but easily two-shot a lot of things, probably. Uh, so it's, it's, it's still a significantly damaging option if I need it. Which is nice. I like the fact that I have that. That's that's why I chose to do that. Is because the, that Nah specifically has ridiculous wisdom stat. Let's just be like it, it just its wisdom stat is like woo, so big. I was a slightly odd reaction, but anyways, we've made it through the second one already in about what 20 minutes. So we're actually making fairly decent progress, all things considered. I'm kind of digging it. But what new Divine Beasts will we have to face here? Because we're on the third one, and yeah, we're going to days. Okay, well, it's just... Like, these Divine Beasts are cool and all, but they're not, like... They're nothing threatening compared to what we had to deal with in the Fire Formation. I did not realize the Fire Formation... You know what? I don't want to wait for you to wake up. I'm going to be lazy. We're going to fight you. Hello, friend. You are a bug. You are a bug, 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 bug. I'm going to bug you because you're a bug. And you're going to punch me in the face because you're a bug. Yes. Um, we're not going to find Sascan here, by the way. We'll find that in the, in the sixth wind uh, forest um, alongside. The sixth wind forest is where we're going to get really broken stuff like Sascan and Mitria. But like I said, all of those are come with a bad ability. So they don't really have a place on the team. The thing is, they're usable, but you have to plan it from the beginning. Like, you have to do another four merges then to get rid of that bad ability. And it's a tricky system to really work around. Because you essentially have to, you, you essentially have to. It, they're good for building teams post game, which is something I'm not going to do. I'm not going to make a whole team post game. I'm going to just, you know, because I don't want to do all the grinding, all the craziness involved with making a team after, you know, beating the game. As fun as that would be, it's just, it's just not something that's relevant to my interest right now. I'm not trying to make, you know, the best team ever. I'm just trying to beat the game and show off everything and move on to the next game, not spend, you know, ten years on this game. This game project has already gone on long enough. RPGs are cool, but damn, do they take a long time to do. It's probably a reason why I'm going to try to avoid a lot of this style of RPG in the future. 
there, it's not to say I won't do them ever, but like stuff like this in Pokemon just take a long time to show off thoroughly. That's just, you know, that's just the nature of the project. And as much as I love these games, they, I'd rather have a nice varied variety of projects and have shorter projects than, you know, ones that drag on for 100 episodes like Pokemon did. This one won't be nearly as much. This is probably going to be like 70. It's still a long project, though. Hey, you dropped a practically worthless stone. Thank you, because at this point, that amount of money is just kind of silly. Ooh, let's merge things. For no reason whatsoever, other than the fact that we can. Um, let's merge a pretty stone and a pitch dark book for no reason whatsoever. What did you get of us? We got a... a, a, a what? Okay. You merge a stone in a book and you get... Sweet Night Paraphernalia. Alright, I'm tempted to merge it, but I also tempt I'm tempted to just see what it does, so... Let's just merge other random shit and see what happens. For funsies! I... Was that another book? Are you a book? No, you're a, a necklace. Oh, wait, 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 whoa. Oh no, revives all friends. So, not like, resurrect book. It's revives, isn't it? Wakes them up. Which is nice in a pinch, but let's merge that with a... I don't care. If it was like revives everyone, I've just been like, what? Now we're just making books. Now we're just we're just making books everywhere. We're gonna do one more merge. We're gonna merge this and this and see if we get anything cool. Oh, well that works. Yeah, Hellfire book. Sure, we'll go for, with it. Um, you can get some really rare divine beasts if you use the merging correctly. It's just you know it's you have to know everything and. Plus, you have to have a pretty decent Divine Beast egg to begin with. Oh, you. Oh, you. I will wait to get initiative on you because... I... Yeah, we know how sleepy sleep guys go and how annoying their battles can be. And I uh, don't want to deal with that because that silly elephant... I don't know, it's the only word I can think of that can rhyme within the two seconds that I had to think of one that can rhyme. Because I'm not really very good at freestyling. Because it's making me rollin' to be bilin' my filing cabinet. What? Yo. Yo, yo. Yo, ho, ho. All I can think of is that Phoenix Wright DLC. If you guys haven't played Phoenix Wright Dual Destinies, go play that game. Because it's freaking amazing. I loved it so much. And the DLC was really good, too. That's some good DLC, really. Uh, hey, you trying to do add uh, slon it to my team? Guess what? Screw you. I have a dream. The dream being I'm in water formation. You can't sleep me. Ha ha ha. He he. I should stop. I should really stop. I'm gonna stop, guys. Just no. This video is over. We're done with this video forever. I don't want to be here anymore. All right. So, Scooter's getting a bit low on MP. We'll have to deal with that, but that's why I bought a bunch of Metal Elixir 5s with me, because I won't have to waste Metal Elixir 7s to deal with those MP problems. That's the plan. So, add Salanit. Puts all the people to sleep, but it puts the people to sleep who are not on the fire formation. Even then, I'm pretty sure the 2 oh do it first. That's... Yeah, that's just rude. That's just rude. Here's a nice perk, by the way. Oh, well, he killed one hit. But here's a nice perk, by the way, of me having an offensive thing in the water formation. Is that Odd Slunny will probably not be shutting down. I mean, I made him pretty immune to status effects. So if I'm fighting a status team, I need to kill a really annoying status condition guy like that. No, you're following me. No. No, you're not allowed to do that. No. No. Who said you could do that? No. Okay. Okay. Fine. Wow, can we just not deal with that these guys anymore? Because they pretty much put my entire team to sleep there. It's an awkward moment when Scooter falls asleep. That's when you know you're just kind of in trouble for that round. Because, yeah, when your Scooter's asleep, it's just not a good time, really. And it's just another place of nothing happening. Huh. Huh. Okay. Well, let's... So far, this Wind Forest has been surprisingly simple, all things considered. I might have to fight one of these people, though, to get through here. Yeah. 
there's there's really no there's really no getting around that one, I think. So that's fine. And thus the world was rid of the silly fairies. The end. Anyways, that takes care of floor three. So we're actually doing this at a pretty solid, you know, ten minutes per floor, which is certainly very nice. And that's with, you know, without cutting things out actually. So Possibly the end of this episode, I don't know, because if this is going so quick, I might just be able to throw the fourth one in here. And, uh, ease the pressure off the second half, because it is nice that I'm doing two per so far. Assuming I'm doing two per, I haven't actually edited the Fire Force ones yet, so... I'm assuming that's still gonna be a two per. It's, it'd be, I mean, I want to be able to finish this game at a decent pace, that's why I'm making longer videos. You ha you can't, it's a, it's a, it's the kind of LP that just doesn't really do short videos very well, unfortunately. I think you guys understand, though. I, th I don't think you guys mind. I'm, I I just kind of talk about it for the sake of talking about it. I, I don't think you guys actually do mind. Um, and if you do, I apologize, but it's just kind of how this project goes. This is always going to be, in my mind, one of the more questionable projects. It's, as fun as this has been, and it has been very fun, it's just, it is a strange game to LP. It's not my usual sort of thing. So, it has been a very interesting experience. I do like doing PS2 games. There's certainly some other PS2 games on that list that I'm definitely going to do at some point. Uh, PlayStation 2 was just such a great era. You can tell, like, I really just love, like, DS, 3DS, and PS2. Like, they're just, like, my bread and butter of, like, the golden age of video game eras. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm a hipster and they just have the most hipstery sort of things. I'm not really a hipster, I just pretend I sometimes to be a hipster. I'm, I'm a make-believe hipster. I pretend to be a hipster before, it was cool. I don't know. I'm gonna stop. This is the episode where I just act like a freaking idiot all the time. Why am I talking? Why am I talking during this fight? What am I doing? No! No, we're done. Goodbye. So I've clearly lost my mind and finally run to a point where just, I just pr forget to stop talking during a battle that I'm supposed to be cutting out. And for the record, for the guys, you guys who were like from my RPG videos, are like, why do you cut all the battles? It's just it's repetitive content. There's really no need to show off fighting something the same way uh, more than once. Like, if you want to see how I probably battle that enemy that I cut out, go watch the time I actually fought it because it'll pretty much be the same thing. Uh, that's why I like a, a lot of stuff like Partners in Time and whatnot I cut out. Sticker Star I don't cut out because the battles are just so quick and it actually matters what you use that it's kind of a different sort of entity. But, uh, like repetitive sort of battles, it just, it makes for sure, it lets me put more content into the videos by cutting out the stuff that's just not necessary. Oh, well, there really was no getting around him anyway. Here's the other thing about this wall formation. If he does fall asleep, and Scooter doesn't, then Scooter wakes him up in time to attack. That's really cool. Oh, wait. I was, so the first time I forgot to, to stop talking, this time I forgot to start talking. What is wrong with me today at this recording? Gosh dang darn. You... Butterfly, stop doing the... The safety dance. Or any of the dances. Okay, well... Oh, well, can we just like... Oh. Well... I miss the days where I didn't have to fight anything. The Dark Worlds were nice. Well, I may have did my order wrong and thus not given the fire formation any experience today. But that's okay. Fu's still, you know, going faster, leveling faster than anyone else anyway. We're getting decently close to merges. It'll be sometime in the middle of the sixth forest, probably, when merging happens. Although I'm probably going to still do, like, a whole let's, you know, go check all the forests again after we do a whole round of forests thing um, for these. Just because I'm not sure if there's extra content or not. Um, in terms of like story time and beast hunter battles, we'll see if that really is like the case or not. Uh, eventually, uh, uh, I'll just give you one now. We'll preempt. 
We'll preempt today because we can. I don't know why I'm picking up the books at this point. It's kind of silly. I should really stop and not pick up everything like I was doing last time because that was nice. I don't need one of you. I still don't know what the hell a Choco Badge is. I just kind of got one. Bit strange. Bit strange. But that's okay. What are you? You're a Hide Spore Pod. Yeah, okay. Good. Hide Spore. Uh, I was going to say a Hide spore, spore potentially, but it turns out it was a Hide Spore definitely. Hurrah! Can we just not... Can you... No, no. No. How about, how about we don't? How about we don't? How about you... Yeah. How about just like that? That's... Das perfect. Oh, hey, we have a story time. Oh, Master Kahu. You came at a good time. Oh? Huh? Why? What is it? I just thought of a new formation. Oh. So would you like to try it out? Kill! Go! Go! Fight! Fight! Yamu, you just, you just mm, want to make dangerous. a fight happen. All right, let's go. Okay, here goes. So we get a chance to fight Gil again. <laughs> Gil again. Yeah, cool. Gil, 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 Nye, the science guy. Gil, 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 Nye, the holy shit is a lot of divinities. Well then, let's do our usual. Don't, no, 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 wait, Gil, Gil, wait, Gil. Hang on, Gil. Gil, hang on a second here. Hang on a second here, Gil. You're a little piece of shit. You know that, Gil? I will murder you in your sleep, Gil. Seriously, we're going to have to deal with even more of this instant death bullshit. Wow. Wow. No. No. Excuse me, Gil. Excuse me. But that's freaking uncalled for. Wow. You've killed two of my divine beasts. Screw you! I'm going to destroy you! Um, so this is water formation. It's very... Oh, it's, it's the... It's the... Regen one. And then he almost kind of murdered himself. Although he is going to regen, so... I'm hoping he switches to his fire formation or something so we can just nuke him down before he do that ever again. Because we are going to have to deal with that again at some point. That's just... Okay, good. One of them's dead. Fortunately, I've lost two Divine Beasts, which is just really shit. I do have a Resurrect book, though, so I'm thinking I should use it here. Um, yeah. Okay, perfect timing, because hopefully I'll outspeed, except he's, we're, we're bringing back uh, that instead, which isn't as... No, we don't outspeed. Please don't kill anyone more, please. Please, Gil, please, Gil. Gil, please. Please just don't. Can we just, can we just, and then hopefully we can just kill his far formation not to deal with this anymore. Okay, good. The two that I wanted to survive, or well, they both survived. I wanted, as long as little food survived, I would have been happy because this Soldona is going to wreck him. And that's good, because I'm done with your shit. None of this, none of this Admiral Warmite bullshit going on here. Unacceptable. Oh, you're staying in this formation? Really? Really? I thought you were going to switch out. I thought it was safe. Turns out it wasn't. Turns out I should have stayed in my fire formation, just made you suffer. Maybe, maybe, Shadow Mario, be, be a savior of the broken, beaten, the, and the damned, and uh, murder that guy. Don't murder Gil. Don't murder Gil. Don't murder Gil. Please. Please. Okay. Well. Please show me the results of your study. The results of my study is that you're a dick. That's the result of my study. Is that no one likes you. You smell funny. Alright, let's just kill this guy. Just slowly chip away at his entire formation here. Go back in the fire formation. Uh, I was hoping you weren't going to do that. Don't kill Fu. Don't kill Fu. I don't care if you kill anyone else. Just don't kill Fu. Okay, that's fine. Because you know what? I don't have to deal with your shit anymore. I do have two Citron Powders. Unbelievable that I still have to deal with this bullshit. But at least he's essentially done right now, because we've essentially won, and that's good. Let's just, let's just stay here, deal some decent damage. I think he's going to put up a barrier, that's okay. 
Right, you're gonna bury her. No, you're no that's right, you just have that. Have you even broken my barrier yet? No, you even have you haven't even you haven't even done anything except be a little douchebag and ruin my and make me have to waste valuable resources because you just like to be a meanie face. And oh that's all you do, you just lower my defenses. Wasn't that just Oh no wait, you're this that was that wasn't my guy, that was that was that was his guy. Okay. Well, I don't want to waste MP for this, but I want to just get the confusion off, so he can maybe just kill himself. Because he is an Earth type, so he should almost definitely get confused here. So, ha! Now kill yourself, Gil. Do yourself a favor. That's right. That's right. How does it feel to have cheap bullshit turned out at you? I want to go into this formation because I want to have three divine beasts when I celebrate. The difference in strength, I see. No, it's the difference in not being a douche. If your Admawar might bullshit. No, I'm just so sick. And of course, Tamal, the one person who really needs experience because he really needs to get another merge to evolve before I go to the arena. Not that I'm worried that that's going to be a problem, but... Hmm, very good, Master Kao. I need to refine this technique a bit further. You need to just not use cheap bullshit, sir. Fight like a man, not with... Okay, I mean, it's a damn good strategy. This is why I have like 50 million citron powders. This is why I have like super many of these. Okay, well, now that I officially have like no health at all. Yeah, that's just kind of unfortunate. Uh, what do you want? Looks like I must make some modifications. I don't like you anymore. I thought we were friends, man. Fight fair. Good match. Wasn't even that wasn't even fair. You two let me through. You two mofos let me through. Freaking rude. Red Rover, Red Rover. I'll smack you all over. Roses are red, violets are blue. If you keep using MOR might, so will you. That didn't make any sense. All right. Well, the good news is I can heal myself up with the water formation, probably, so I'm not too concerned. And it's not like I have to deal with any more of that bullshit. So, whatever. I oh okay. Can we just can we just go? Well, no. Okay. Well, you know what? You're a perfectly good opportunity for me to heal up. So we'll heal up. Me and my one HP. We're gonna stop the water formation this time. But yeah, can we just all agree that Gil is just kind of a backstabbing douchebag who just really wants to see me burn? Some people just want to see the cow who burn. Apparently he's one of them. He's like, oh yeah, I'm totally your friend, but you know, he's jealous of us. He tries to kill our divine beast. He wants us to have a tail that's cancerous and probably going to kill us. He's just really kind of a douchebag, if you, come, if you just think about it. No wonder he doesn't have any friends except some stupid little chestnut creature. And he's a, and he's like, he just like hurts it and does bad things to it. We just need to call the bad people police on Gil. He's just, he's just, he's just, it's just a thing.